Chairman of the Board of Directors at Social Security, Everett Christian, says an injection of $6 million by government to the board has placed the agency on a better level, but the situation remains untenable. The December subsistence was in addition to government statutory obligations, and it allowed Social Security to settle most of its arrears. Terry Andrew tells us more. Christian says all the benefit payments were made, but payment to suppliers is outstanding. He explains that it is still challenging, but the injection of the funds places the organization in a better position going forward. He adds that government has contributed between 10 to 12 million dollars since mid-2012, above and beyond his obligations, in keeping with the law that says government must make up the shortfall. Christian noted that the much talked about reforms are needed urgently if Social Security is to meet its obligations to beneficiaries, suppliers and staff in a timely manner. Derek Osborne, the actuary employed by Social Security, led consultations with stakeholders and the public in November, during which time the facts and figures were laid bare. This included the fact that in 2012, Social Security operated with a deficit of $16.5 million. Projections are that the deficit gap will reach $35 million by 2017 if reforms are not undertaken. A matrix of proposals was sent to stakeholders with a request for them to note their agreement or to make other suggestions. The proposals on the consideration include increasing the contribution rate by 2%, increasing accrual rates, insurable income, and the pensionable age, the latter in stages. Christian says the document was sent to approximately 30 stakeholders, but only four responses were forthcoming. Christian says the trade unions have been among those who have failed to respond to the board, though they have been vocal with their objections in the media. Christian explains that the union represents workers and workers' views are important. The reforms are needed urgently. If not, government will be required to keep providing support to Social Security. It is sufficiently important that the board deal with that immediately. If not, the hemorrhaging will continue and they will continue to place additional burden on the Treasury to meet the shortfall. Response for some quarters to the issue is that Social Security will be on solid footing if it recoups the debt owed by the government. But Christian says this is a misinformed view. He explains that they have sufficient reserves, though they are not liquid, to cover for the next nine years. These reserves are $550 million in government securities on the Memorandum of Understanding and $50 million in real estate holdings. Social Security has in excess of 8,200 pensioners and approximately 50 individuals are added to the register every month increasing expenditure by about $100,000. Terry Andrew, ABS News.